here. Maybe a little bit later. <laughs> but just about here. Yeah, and early, just, and early just bird. do a jog, a little bit of jog before we're going to work. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> and what are you doing now? I'm actually back home from college. I, uh, I go to school at USC. Yes. And so I'm actually just back home from the summer for a little bit, trying to make a little, make a little cash, working a little bit. Um, yeah, okay. just back home feeling. It's good to see the parents and the dogs and stuff. So <laughs> for a little bit before I head back out there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let, let's start with uh, your background. Uh, you being a taekwondo learner uh, at yeah. such an, a young age, definitely made you the chosen one for the part of Ang, right? Right, right. It, um, it was something that my mom kind of always wanted me to do. Um, and actually, believe it or not, I didn't want to do it for a really long time. I was pushing really hard not to get it <laughs> in the work. She was like, hey, you got to do this. It'll, it'll be really fun for you. It'll be something that you can pour like, your passion and your energy into. And I was kind of like, nah, but it's just not. I'm more into basketball. I'm more into these kind of things and like sports and stuff like that. And she was, you know, not that Taekwondo isn't a sport. It's definitely a sport. Mm. Um, but she was kind of like, okay, I'll tell you what, you can just, just do it for a month. And if you don't like it, don't even worry about it. it. Won't ever go again. I won't even bring it up again. So I was like, okay. I think that the problem, the problem for your mother was that you wouldn't get at home tired enough, <laughs> and you still have uh, add a lot of energy to. The yeah, that's right. <laughs> it didn't work, man. <laughs> Too true. But uh, so we we went there for about a month, and um, man, I fell in love with Taekwondo in like the first two weeks. That was just good stuff, you know. And as a kid, it's just so awesome to feel like power. And it's yeah. awesome to feel the confidence in your body and to be able to defend yourself. Not and, no bullies uh, anymore. No man, not even not anymore, not even close. Um, <laughs> did did you so, have to use it in real life? I used it. Um, you know, it's not. I haven't ever had too much of like confrontation. Confrontation. Um, it's been okay for me, but it has been nice. I think that I've avoided those situations a lot because of the confidence that it gave me. If that makes sense. You know, Taekwondo is so cool because it's a full, it's a whole rounded experience. It's not just like a physical, like I'm working out, which is, you know, what we more thought it was. Um, you know, my parents are very into like teaching me morals, very into bringing me up in a, in a good, like awesome way. And we didn't think the Taekwondo would add as much as it did, but they're very into teaching like honor, respect, courtesy. Um, and uh, just kind of like... old teachings of Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You, you, what you were describing, it reminded me of David Carradine on Kung Fu. Yeah, that's right, dude. That is an awesome show. What a great reference. I love how like every all of the bad guys are like moving super slow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. awesome show. Good reference, dude. You know what? Actually, is I worked with um, his brother Keith Carradine. Yeah, yeah. On on Alien uh, ver uh, on. I'm yeah, Cowboys and Aliens. Like, yeah, Cowboys dude. Cowboys and Aliens, right? <laughs> yeah. That was crazy. I was like, dude, that's awesome. And, uh, <laughs> he was a really nice were, guy. I, I don't remember, but were you his son? I was his grandson. Grandson, okay. Close okay. enough. Close enough. How, how was it like to, to be on that show with, with such great names as, as Harrison Ford and uh, the, la uh, the latest... Daniel James Craig. Bond? Yeah, dude, Daniel Craig is awesome. Um, They're just... You know, the more that you kind of get, like, engrossed into the industry and, like, excited about it and you meet more people, uh, you just find that they're just, like, really, really good quality folks, you know? They're just awesome people that are willing to talk with you about, like, what they've done, um, who they are, and they just, they kind of like the same things that everybody likes, you know? So it's just a really cool experience to just, um, to get to chill with them and see, like, the casual side of them. They're obviously both very focused on set, um, and they're both very in the mind of the character. Um... Like one of my favorite like uh, moments from Cowboys and Aliens, I was riding on my horse past Harrison, and he knew that I had never ridden a horse before Cowboys, and so I got really comfortable like riding. And he goes, I'm "Pretty good on that horse, son." I was like, "Thank you, sir." And we just, <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, "Yes, this is awesome." That's <laughs> so. meeting reality. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Exactly. Uh, we have to go back to uh, before, uh, yeah, <laughs> before that sports. movie. <laughs> Send it back, man. Let's uh, do it. How long it took the casting process for uh, the Last Airbender? The uh, Last Airbender was an odd casting process. Um, I don't know. Oh. Probably from when we like very first turned in like the very first like Pioneer tape. Um, I don't know, like a month and a half. Um, 
Yeah. Ordered them two months. You were 13 at the time, right? Or 12? I was 12. 12. Okay. Yeah. How, um, how do they prepare such a young boy with no acting skills, I think, yeah. uh, for carrying on his shoulders a $150 million yeah, this, dollar movie? This was your first and biggest role today, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. If definitely. I were you, I would be certainly a, a bit scared. Uh, yeah, you know, it, you know, it's funny, man. Um, it, it it intimidated me, but it wasn't like it wasn't just even. In, um, I don't know how to like express how it was, but like, you know, I liked hanging out with Knight, and I liked like the casting process that he like led us through. Mm -hmm. And when I met him, meeting him kind of like just erased all of that like nervousness you know all of that like anxiety about doing the film just because I started to act like for him you know it was just kind of like I like this dude and it's like you know the camera is not you know however many people saw the movie a couple million so you know uh, it's just kind of like you're just with people you're with your friends and you're doing stuff that you really really love to do um, the way they prepared me really was with a great acting studio in town in, in Dallas Texas um, they sent me to her she got me ready really fast, um, which is, you know, we only had like a month before like I had to go off and shoot. So there's like no acting to like, you know, some respectable level of understanding of the speech and like how you communicate with the director and, you know, what, mm -hmm. you know, expressing emotion is in like a real way and not making it artificial or, you know, it's not about like your facial emotion. It's just literally honestly feeling it and um, just kind of how to be in the moment, you know, just some basic was, stuff. Was, was M. Night Shyamalan present uh, during the casting? Uh, yes, during the casting, but mostly just during the callback. Um, we only had one callback, and that was where I met him. Um, so, what yeah. What was your I, first first impression uh, about him? He's just he just has so much charisma, dude. Um, he 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 is an awesome man, and he's still one of my like my my most highly respected people. If I had a list of high respected people, mm -hmm. um, I I love hanging out with him. I'm close with his daughter, um, and they're just a really solid family. They're a family that only accepts excellence. They, they really strive for that. And I absolutely respect that with all my heart. Um, and he's also just the kindest dude, man. He's got such a, like a soft heart toward like his actors and the people that he works with. He cares about them so much and they care about him so much. And so they always invest a ton into like his sets and the energy that he carries on set. Mm -hmm. Um, man, you like, he, he's, he's got his stuff together, you know, like when he walks on set, it's like, that's the dude. And it's not almost like, like he has no arrogance about him. It's literally just like, I just love what I do. And so I carry myself in this way, and it's it's awesome. It's really awesome, and I miss him. I miss him so much. I haven't seen him in a really long time. He's just <laughs> he's a really good dude. So maybe yeah. one day the studio will pick up on the trailer. Yeah, dude. Heck yeah. That I probably have to awesome. be a character, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Cora. Uh, I don't know if you I'll, do I'll, it, uh, if you know this that uh, Airbending is based on a fighting style called uh, Bagua. Bagua, yeah, that's right. Yeah, did did you have to learn uh, this kind of martial arts for the yeah, world? Yeah, yeah, actually, um, I had a one of my good friends now. Um, his name is Sifu David Morizo. He's actually working on a show called The Originals right now in Atlanta. Um, came out to Dallas and like uh, just taught me some basic Bagua to kind of get the idea because I, you know, Taekwondo was um, all kind of like um, it's a very aggressive style. Um, and it's very, um, I don't want to say rigid, but it's, it's very strong, you know, it's very like, um, linear, if that makes sense. And so working with Bagua, it was totally circular and understanding how to like, cause you know, Kung Fu is so much more, um, flowing and like circular and that's the way that you defend. It's about, it's about the posing, right? Right. Right. Um, and so yeah, learning Bagua was actually a blast. Um, I didn't pick it up, um, for like the first couple days, it's kind of like, this is weird. Like it, it feels odd to like not have a defined, like you start here and you end here. You know, it was more along the lines of like a weird, like different kind of line. Um, but once you kind of like start getting it, it's a really cool energy. It's like a, it's kind of like a, like a dance almost, you know, um, with really cool practical application, um, which was awesome. Mm, okay. And he also taught me the staff too, because Bagua has a lot of staff. So With all the special effects and all that stuff, um, I think it must be overwhelming to you to, to watch the movie um, in the end with all the CGI and the soundtrack yeah. and all that stuff. I, right. I, I have never been in a movie, uh, at least <laughs> and not in a big movie like that. Right, right. Uh, so uh, how it is to finally see the thing uh, coming and see you there in, inside from, of this From the movie. audience point of yeah, view. Yeah, the point of view. How it is that part of the thing to watch the final right. product? 
it's it's kind of like watching another person, honestly. 